Shot to the heart and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. Hello beauties, welcome to our nighttime wind down routine. Grab your skincare, grab your drinks, grab anything you can wind down with us. You can do your skincare with us or just hear about our favorite products. Whee! Subscribe. I just came out of the shower. I had to put on some moisturizer because you guys know how dry my skin is, but I didn't wash my face in the shower, so let's wash it. Out here, starting with Fel, what you got, girl? Yes, so this is the Good Light Cosmic Dew Water Cleanser. You guys know how much we love gel cleansers, and this is a gel to foam, but I think what made me so intrigued and fascinated by it right off the bat when I first tried it is that it's this translucent opal beautiful gel and it's like smooth you know how some gel cleansers we use have like little bubbles or little like filaments it's like a bumpy gel mm -hmm. this one is like smooth as like what is this i don't know it's like jelly Ding! it's like a precious stone and then i could totally understand why they called it cosmic dew it's like celestial it's like in the milky way <laughs> have you tried it yet no, I'm about to try it right now. Okay, so I'm going in dry cleanse. Me too. So I just kind of like spread it all over. Wow. It's gonna mix with my sweat. Oh my god, and it's so smooth. It's so gentle on the skin. You know, it doesn't really matter what skin type you have because cleansing <laughs> applies to all and it's super important. If that's one thing that we learned in the challenge of our one week no skincare is that cleansing is m mucho important. I still have like <laughs> PTSD traumatic memories. Mm. <laughs> Dude, you know what it smells like? Like morning dew. You know, yeah. like the smell when you walk through kind of a forest? Because at the beginning, I was like, if water smelt like something, I think this is what water would smell like. <laughs> <gasps> the way that it emulsifies, it's amazing. Guys, this is my first time yes. using it. Wow. You emulsify and it becomes this like almost milky texture. It looks like I'm wearing, it looks like I have a mask on. Yeah, like a foamy it's mask. like a very fine kind of micro foam, not the huge foams. Yeah. Let's make a moustache. Moustache! Santa Claus. Mwah. So anyway, wash off. It washes off so nicely. Whoa, my phone is about to wash away. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you do not know the struggle of filming. <laughs> Washing your face in a at bathroom home with a mobile phone, a camera. It's right here in the mirror. Wait, this washes off so nicely. More so than anything, I like how the name translates into the product. It really is cosmic and dewy. <laughs> Leaves your face like that. Boom, boom. Bing. Okay, so what's yours? That's mine. Mine is the Dr. Wu Mildo Gentle Cleansing Milk. This is what Fel gave me to try. And I haven't, I returned, I returned her whole routine back to her already. But I kept this because it's so good. It's meant My for, God. it's meant to target people with dehydrated and stressed skin. And I just feel like this texture is honestly unlike any other any other milk cleanser I've ever used. Like, it's more powerful. Tell me more, Ro, about what I'm missing out on. <laughs> Tell me more. It's, I think it's more powerful than the Sior smell because I think the Sior is like very gentle. The texture is just, seriously, I would put it on my face again. It's in between a lotion and a cleanser. It's not as dense or as much of a moisturizer as the CeraVe cleanser that Fel loves, but this one just like, ah. Slippery you know what I love thing. most about it? 
Yes. It's actually the fact that it has oat. Yeah. Like, it's so calming. The word on the street is that they're reformulating this cleanser. So if you want to get it as is, I believe we still have a what? couple more left at our store. Yeah. Dr. Wu, I feel like their formulations are what kind of puts them on the map, even yeah. though they're highly underrated. So before our skin completely dries out, let's move into the room and do the rest of our topicals because more exciting things. Do a little sneak splurts of essence before I actually turn into SpongeBob and Patrick out of the water. <laughs> Okay, while you figure out your hair, I want to show everyone my cutest Aww. little mug. <laughs> so one year I went to Thailand and in one of their like huge markets, it's like Chatter Chuck markets, where they sell everything from like fashion to food to home decor to like plants. It was so huge. This was the only thing I bought in Thailand Aww. and I only went with a carry-on and this is the only thing I brought back. And it's like from this artist who just made these handmade things and she painted all these herself. And the legs! Look at the legs! I can't. I can't! And the fact that you brought it from Thailand to Oz to here. Yeah! I was like, if there's one thing that I need from this trip, it is this cup and I will be complete, so. All right, Fel, I'm ready for your skin. Your skin's ready for some dose of ampoule. Let's <laughs> intro what we're gonna use. So what have you got? I'm going straight into the ampoule. This is the Medicube Deep Vita C, 13.5%. The backstory behind this serum, there's actually not a lot of backstory, but I've just been, <laughs> I've been looking for a vitamin C serum with pure vitamin C, so like ascorbic acid, L-ascorbic acid. And when I read that it's good for hyperpigmentation, even for freckles, like it was so specific, usually for vitamin C serums, you're just like, oh, it's good for evening out skin tone, it's good for hyperpigmentation. Yeah. But this one's like, it inhibits melanin freckles. production and it's good for freckles. So I was like, mm. yeah. Girls got wow. a lot of freckles, especially after the uh, no skincare challenge. So I've been trying this for over two weeks and guys, my skin is pretty bing bing. And then I do find that the hyper pigmentation and the freckle is slowly starting to fade or like slowly starting to lighten. It'll probably take a little longer, mm -hmm. but I'm a fan. Also with yeah, the eye I cream like that, that I'll talk about in a little. give you three. Yeah. It's like such good packaging. Is it like the Vichy one where it's really watery? No, it's this like darker, yellow, creamy texture. Interesting. Yeah, so it's quite milky and it has a very, um, I think it's a very standard K-Beauty scent. Do you use your vitamin C? Like, do you prefer doing it in the morning or at night? I think it really depends. I'll usually use it in the morning and then at night, it depends on like the quality of my skin. If I want to use something like azelaic acid or salicylic acid or something else, I'll just probably stick with that and then just use this in the morning. Helps take but out the guessing cream, game too. Day and night. Yeah. Mm. Are you ready for bed? <laughs> yes. But no, because this is our wind down. I thought I would like, peace out. Mm. We could see the passion with Ro and her vitamin C. Now let's talk about some passionate tea. Oh. <laughs> okay. The one that I want to introduce you guys to is the vegan kombucha tea essence from Dr. Suricle. Okay, so like, this is amazing. Doesn't it, what does it look like? It looks the like the Laneige cream skin. Laneige cream yeah. skin. It exactly looks like that bottle. However, it's an essence. So before I shook it up, it separates. It looks like a milk foam where there's like this foamy white stuff on the top and then the tea on the bottom and it separates. Oh my God, it's like boba. <laughs> It is like boba. It's literally tea Cheese boba. Cheese boba. <laughs> Cheese boba. <laughs> so this contains like the prebiotics. So it's really good for building like healthy skin barrier. You know, everything that keeps us youthful and clear and glowing is a healthy skin microbiome. But on top of that, it's got green tea water and omija. Ooh. Dude, 
so good. Two of the ingredients that we love the most, guys. So when you pour it out, it's like oh, this lightweight kind <gasps> of milky consistency. And then when you just spread it all over the face, it's like you can feel it's a little heavier than just like a watery, you know, Benton green tea kind of toner. It's got a little bit more kind of like resistance, but it's not like the cream skin where it becomes a moisturizer. It's kind of in between that. It essentially acts as this essence almost cream hybrid and I would say if I'm comparing the Laneige cream skin with this essence it's just a little bit lighter than the cream skin so I feel like if you really like the cream skin but maybe you want something a little bit more lightweight this is the go and I think you can't really compare it because the ingredients are also very different and you know when we talk about what gets you excited to do your skincare I get excited to come back from the shower and look at this on my table separated and then you shake it and then apply it. It's like a whole like, ah. Uh. Darling, now put on the vitamin C, please. Actually, I should have applied the vitamin C before this because little fact, vitamin C, because it's a lower pH level, it should be applied kind of sooner in your skincare routine, but I just wanted to talk about the essence first. Ooh, it's nice. Mm. Wow. Okay, I can see why you like this. It's It's got substance. Yes. But it's not heavy, like an oily vitamin C. Like the Allies of Skin vitamin C that I gave you to use, right? That one's more like yeah. thick. That one's quite greasy. <laughs> Alrighty. Next, also from Medihube. Medicube. Medihube. Medicube. This is their Deep Reviving Pad Thai Eye Cream. It is probably one of the best eye creams I've ever used in my life. Wow. I think I, I think it's maybe because I'm especially sensitive these days with how my skin is <laughs> aging. And this just so uh -huh. happened to be the product that's working right now. I would say it's a bit more of a moisturizer than it is a gel, but it, ha it still has like a very gel-like consistency. And the way that it just applies on your skin and glides, I put a little too much today, but like, just want to show you guys like it literally glides onto your skin without tugging at all. I think my biggest gripe with some eye creams is that they may be too thick or heavy. Then when you try to work it in, you're like pulling to try to get it to spread evenly. But this one just like you can very gently move it all over the areas that you want. And I kind of just form little circles around my eyes and like especially focusing on mm. this area at the bottom because it's like it can <laughs> it's been getting super dry so medicube on a roll and guys this is not sponsored <laughs> we get this some products sponsored. and sometimes some just call to us more than others but actually while we're on medicube i want to talk about what has thoroughly changed my life this month it's the medicube red body wash this is for my back knee and my chest acne because actually the week before my period i will break out on the chest and i break out on the back so i've used like kind of salicylic acid lactic acid body washes before but they never really did a lot like i didn't realize noticeable differences but this one i think i was using it for three to four days with this puff this is the clean logic puff it's a mitt kind of thing and then on this side is more of that exfoliating texture where it's not like it's not a dry brush as harsh as a dry brush but you can still definitely feel it's it's exfoliating it sounds skin. pretty like so, <laughs> yeah you can hear it but what i do is i'll just pump two to three onto this wet it a little bit and then just gently in slow circular motions work it throughout my shoulders the top of my back and the chest and i really wasn't expecting anything to like change really but i realized like it completely buffed down all the bumps on my chest and like decreased the redness of the pimples on my chest significantly, let me tell you. As you guys saw a little earlier when Fel was talking about her boba milk tea toner <laughs> essence, I already put on some of this Bing moisturizer. Bing. So this is Make Prem 72 hour lasting cream formulated with plant derived ceramide. What a name. If you guys want to take the safe, reliable friend that the Safe Me cream is and put it on crack and just make it even more whipped and nourishing, this, this is it. 
this is it, my friends. Also, it's thicker. It's thicker. It's definitely thicker. And I think anything that Make Prem makes, um, especially within this line, you can just think of it as like a very, very basic but reliable friend. Especially if I'm using something like a pure, you know, vitamin yeah. C serum. I want to make sure I don't use anything too crazy afterwards. So this is what you need. And then another friend to accompany this, this is the Real Barrier Active V Turnover Cream. So if you guys remember, we talked about Real Barrier like <laughs> eons ago, it seems. They're known for moisturizers that are really good for your skin barrier, and this one specifically has PHA. It's helping you just really gently slough away all the dead skin cells that just may be building up on your skin. It's not as whipped of a texture as you'd imagine. It actually has like a little bit of like a translucent finish to it. Oh. If you know what I mean. So it's like jelly? It's a bit jelly, but it's still but thick. quite thick. Thick, yeah, if you see that. It's a dry girl's gel. Yeah. Okay, so what I've been using lately is these two products actually from April Skin. Like, not sponsored by the way. I've just been loving Medicube and April Skin, <laughs> it seems as though. This is the Artemisia Squalene Hydrogel Cream. It's this beautiful lightweight gel, but it is a cream. It's like a hybrid. Everything's a hybrid that I'm talking about. And it's very calming, very soothing, so it will help with mild redness. It will help with rosacea because Artemisia is it's kind of like Centella Asiatica and also green tea. It's like if your skin drank tea, you know, Rusa, it really helps with it. And it doesn't leave me super shiny. Because I've talked about that, what I really wanted to talk about was the April Skin Calendula AHA PHA Resurfacing Serum. So after we did that one week of no skincare, my face, it was all sorts of crusty, irritated, dehydrated, and oily. It was an ice cream sandwich on my face. <laughs> I lost it when you said your face felt like a dinosaur's rough skin. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm glad we tried that because I feel like after that, I could really tell how much products can soothe and replenish you back to an equilibrium. So I only started really incorporating very, very, very mild chemical exfoliants because things that didn't used to tingle, tingled. My skin barrier was compromised. <laughs> but this, because it's mixed with calendula, which is another like flower that is very soothing, very calming, and contains the PHA, which is super gentle, it was just enough to buff away all that accumulated dead skin that I accrued over five days. It comes in this little twist up thing, Ooh. and it's quite watery. It just sinks so quickly into the skin. It doesn't smell like anything. April skin is just hitting all the right boxes. <laughs> okay, so on the topic of sparking joy, let's take a few moments at the end of our video to reflect. So what's something that has sparked joy for you this month or like this week? I learned very recently that my horoscope signs, including my rising, and my moon signs are all very intense and that's fine and i love it <laughs> it's like the dualities or like they're just uh there's so many memes from co-star and i just realized for like my, oh my sagittarius God, my sagittarius it's like you need to stop running away which is like what i do for capricorn it is you need to stop caring so much about what other people think of you and for my aries is stop demanding perfection from yourself and i was like dude these are the three things that are like the trifecta and the bane of my existence that just kind of drive everything that i do and it was just interesting just seeing it written out so clearly and be like oh a part of me feels very seen and a part of me feels like, you know what, like this is just- Attacked. <laughs> I feel attacked. Yes, I do. I constantly feel attacked when I read Coastrology, their post. I'm like, okay, it is not okay for you to be this direct and this true. And I also know take these things with a grain of salt because it's not 100% truth, it's more like, you know, they are generalizations and we are more complex than just like what one sign stands for. But like sometimes they just, they're so accurate, it's just not okay. I don't want to be cold.
pulled out like this. Let me read one for you. This is the dualities for Aquarius, which is what fell is. Vacillates between fixation and total detachment. <laughs> yes, that was the one where I was like, <laughs> it's like they know me better than anyone else. <laughs> no, I just think the the dating dating a blank is like dating Rowena is like dating. <laughs> it's like babysitting trying to catch a fish with bare hands and <gasps> auditioning for the rest of your life. <laughs> Bruh, like, lol, epic lols. Talking about fixate, I can fixate on astrology, horoscopes, anything kind of like beyond the, the human plane. I love going deep and then I'll be over it. <laughs> Nobody cares about your nature documentary. Oh my god, that Nobody was one cares thing. cares about your podcast. <laughs> no one cares about my podcast. Called out, because I like every time I say stuff, people are like, cool. If you it's were a movie. a movie, Aquarius was like a nature documentary. <laughs> and I, I feel like that's how I start all my sentences when I catch up with anyone. Oh my god, so there's this documentary. <laughs> oh my god, so I was watching this documentary on birds. <laughs> It's just so good! What's something that sparked joy for you? Being able to really be in my own space and like I really love interiors and I really love creating spaces and moods you know within your environment and I think like prior to this I really just wasn't able to concentrate on that, have the mental like stamina to think about it, have the space to think about it, but this month I really have and it's just brought me so much joy to be able to like be in control of my environment, which then makes me much more equipped to like handle what the day can throw at me because I don't feel like when I'm home, when it's supposed to be in my safe space, it's still shambles, you know, where you kind of feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. I felt like there are phases of my life where I feel like it gets like that, like I have nowhere to go, that kind of feeling, but then just kind of taking control of you know, your immediate environments, I feel like goes so far. It's this mental liberation. And another thing is this. Okay, well, it's not, it's not the mess that is behind me, but it's the keyboard. Oh my gosh. Aww. <laughs> okay, so like, I used to play piano. I played it for like six years back when I was a wee youngin'. And I feel like it's kind of like riding a bike or driving a car. It is a motor skill where you process it, you learn it, and it's stuck there. But it's been like more than 10 years since I played. And so I was like, I'm gonna get a keyboard. And I got the keyboard and every night, it's just been so good to like express through music. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> you sparking joy makes makes my heart melt and it sparks joy for me that you're sparking joy. Oh, and it goes around like this. Isn't isn't like joy and spreading positivity and happiness, it truly is contagious. You know how they're like, if you see someone laugh and then you laugh, even though it's like not funny. <laughs> and let me just say, Fel's paint on her wall also sparks so much joy because that to me shows like, progress and potential change and it's so exciting oh my god these like paint swabs you know the funniest thing is i don't even think i'm gonna end up picking any of them <laughs> but that's oh, a good. future matter that's a future yeah. matter yeah that's our video on what we're currently using that's sparking joy on our face in our routine and in life and that's it if you, if you guys want to share your experiences, if you have questions about anything we use, of course, leave it in the description. The description. Don't touch the description. That's off limits to you. You stick to the comment section, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and subscribe, join the Beauty Within fam, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye. CD, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay.